Hello boys and girls, this is Angel Malus here, and yes, I'm back. Well, a little bit, not much. Um, I haven't been making so much videos, there's so much stuff going on around here, and I've been moving and stuff, so... Right now, if you may guys hear something in the background, it's uh, they're constructing something, so you might have to excuse that a little bit. Anyway, I want to show you guys something really cool, and I want to actually give you guys something, just because you have been... I have been having a lot of subscribers lately, and um, I didn't. I don't know. They just keep coming, so I feel compelled to have to give something back to the community. So if you guys like uh, computer craft, then you can see it in the background. I have like a, a cool animation. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, and it's actually pretty quick. What I have over here is actually um, a program that I wrote. It's an animation program, and I'm gonna terminate this with just pressing Ctrl and T. And then, uh, as you can see here, I have a bunch of programs here. Um, it's not complicated. The easy thing is this is this is MC over here is the edit the screen edition program. This is an API that I use. These are three screens, and this is a little code just to make them animate. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy this is. Now, this is a new computer. It doesn't have anything, as you guys can see. And the first thing we need to do is download my code for the editor. So paste bin, yeah right. Um, get and then the code, which you guys can copy it from here. Or I maybe I'll put it in the description, and then MC. Uh, you don't need to put MC. It can just be whatever. But I just do it like that. This is the monitor editor or something like that. Whatever. Anyway, uh, once you have that, as you can see, it's just that program over here. Once you run it, it will connect to the internet and it will run Pastebin by itself and it will download the API that we need. So as you guys can see, it's turning to download the API. There we go. Now this is the program that we're going to be using to edit these monitors. Now the first thing you do in this program is menu, selection the monitor. So click over here and it says right click the monitor to select which means you have to come out here and physically come and right click the monitor like that you see and then it would load it up here um, that would work on any side pretty much and you can see that animation I set up that animation so I know that it actually it's, it's actually working and you can see the screen is over here is bigger because it has more more space so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and do and the come back to the little one over here and as you can see it says you have uh, the monitors on the top so these are the variables that it will save on the file the monitor will be on the top and the width and height are 7 by 5 what does this mean? well basically you have 7 space and, and on the side and 5 to the to the bottom now you can increase the text size maybe like that and it says you have 4 by 2 which means you barely have any space to write anything like that and you can see as you make changes over here it will come over here in the monitor uh, to delete this you have to p press here click and then uh, use space for clear it says right here so I'm just pressing space and it will clear it out now next thing you can do is um, come in to change the colors so let's say I want maybe a red red background with uh, white color so I can come here and then just press space and it changes everything to red and I can write some letters and everything is being changed over here now I'm gonna make it smaller I think the smaller you can get is I believe 0.5 yes there we go and that's 15 by 10 so you can fit a lot of little numbers in there it's good if you ha wanna have like a lot of information and you don't wanna make your monitor so big anyway once you enter over here you're in text edit mode once you click you can click on several parts I'm just right uh, left clicking and write some text you can come back and click again and paste the space sadly I don't have a backspace for this because that would be another crazy code so you cannot just press backspace or delete to go backwards you have to come back and delete with space like this so sorry for that but I didn't have the time or mind to keep continuing this um, anyway so another cool feature of this program that I made is that you can actually paint like with your hand over here see as long as you're not in text edit mode you can come over here and paint whatever you want with this so you can come in here and maybe make a 
a face or you know whatever you want uh, a panel a button maybe uh, an icon monster whatever you guys want then you come over here you see everything is working fine you're gonna do black you can actually right click on these places too and you can right click and hold right click and move anywhere you want in here and it would actually do it by by itself so you don't need to come here and press space you can just right click and and use like, use like a paint but as soon as I press space I'm in text edit mode so this doesn't work anymore you have to either left click um, I mean press enter or escape so I press enter and, and then I can paint again so let's just make maybe let's make an orange <laughs> I don't know why I'm making an orange but let's make an orange and yeah that's an orange I guess yeah, let's put a leaf and a piece of stick or something there you go beautiful orange and we're gonna save that image as um, whatever you see menu save or you can cancel menu save and we're just gonna put orange there we go it's saved now uh, you can either exit or open like if you change these things you see I can change sizes and everything you come over here you can open but you have to know the name of the file so I'm just gonna put orange because that's the name of the file click open there you go and it will load it up here too so I'm gonna exit and let's see what we have we have the MC the program we have the API then don't mind the name and the image that I made and then you guys can come and edit if you're curious but it's just a bunch of numbers and codes and stuff like that it's just basic information for me to uh, to know it's like a bitmap uh, you guys don't need to know all that stuff um, next thing we need to do is make a little program to run orange and that is the simplest thing on earth edit um, test first thing you need to do is load the API OS load API and obviously the, my API is mon mon and next thing you need to do is run the, the program inside there the, the function called load image you see and I made it so easy that you just need to put the name of the image that's it you don't need to tell where is the monitor you don't need to do anything else every all the data is saved on this image so the computer would know and that's it save it exit now um, I'm gonna just run the program one more time just to clean clean the, the screen there we go I could just break it and come out but anyway I just wanted to to show you guys that there's a clean monitor and there is the MC um, now I'm gonna run test and what's gonna happen is there you go the image again now with this you can either make animations and whatnot so I'm gonna edit this animation over here you see what happens over here is I load an image, sleep a little bit, load another image, sleep a little bit, load another image, sleep a little bit. So this basically is a non-stop um, going around in circles and just fluctuating between between these images. And that's what happens for the animation. There are three images and they're just bouncing around. Now the images are so easy to make because I just need to come here and delete this with spaces and then just create a little new thing so it's kind of cool now um, I'm gonna show you guys a sample this I have this little um, something something fun box or whatever and if you guys some of you may remember I guess that a lot don't uh, this is a teleport button power for the red powered ship that I had in so many worlds ago and obviously there's a teleportation thing down here so you click here and you see some animation and it sends you to your secret base or to your I don't know like a nuclear facility or whatever and yeah that will be all no ouchie oh, it never works on me <laughs> anyway that will be all if you guys want to download the program you can download it at the I'm gonna put the link in the description so you guys can do it I'm gonna try that one more time
Come on, come on, come on. Yay! Okay, I did lost some energy. Anyway, this is Angel Malus signing out. Hope you guys like it, enjoy it, and use it. And if you have any questions, comments, or doubts, or whatever, just, just let me know. Alright, see you guys later. Bye-bye.